Yo, what's up guys? Felix from Flipping Medical Commodities University. I also run the Giant Lifestyle YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering the two most common questions I get about flipping medical commodities, which is number one, how much can I expect to make, whether that's in the first month, two months, or three months? And then the second question is, how much does it cost to start this business up? And this business is the business of buying and reselling medical commodities. If you don't know what that is, it's a fancy word and a cool word and what people who buy and resell diabetic testing supplies call the business, buying and reselling diabetic or buying and reselling medical commodities. For anybody that doesn't know and have never seen any of my videos, I've been doing this business since 2015. I really got it up and off the ground by 2016, and this business has completely changed my life. I made my first six figures by the age of 21. I've been able to invest into real estate. I've been able to invest into other businesses, and this business has changed my life, so that's why I make these videos to share with other people how to do this business. Quick side note, this video will not be that long, and if you hear me sniffle or it sounds like I have a cold, it's because I just came back from Colombia. I was out there for my buddy's birthday, and you know, the elevation in the mountains always gets me a little sick when I come back, and not to mention I travel a lot. So I invest into businesses, I have real estate, I travel, and I'm financially free. And it's crazy to think that I did it from buying and reselling diabetic testing supplies. You people say, how'd you make your money? How'd you create your wealth? Some people do it through this or that or this or that. I did it mainly through buying and reselling diabetic testing supplies. So like I said, in this video, we're gonna talk about the two things is how much can you expect to make in your first month or your first two months or your first three months? And then the next question is, how much does it cost to really get started? Because every business has a startup cost. If somebody tells you that, you know, there's no startup cost for any business. Every business has some sort of startup cost, whether it's more or less, every business has some sort of startup cost. But the first question is, how much can you expect realistically to make in your first month or two months or three months? And that's a very good question, but it also can be a concerning question because sometimes when people set out these crazy expectations and they don't make um, the money they thought they would make, or if they don't make anything, they quit. And that's something that can really cause you to just jump from item to item to item, or you know, opportunity or opportunity or business, because n success is not a straight and narrow line. You know, it might take you two months to succeed, it might take you four months to succeed, it might take you six months. But I'm gonna give you some realistic expectations. I'm not gonna tell you that month one you're gonna be in a Lamborghini, month two. Um, you're not gonna be getting a Rolex in month three, you're not gonna be getting a mansion. That's not going to happen. Um, but I will set some realistic expectations that you can sort of set out for yourself if you decide to do this business. Now, quick side note, if you want more information about how this business works and how to do it and some more things that you can grab and do some research research about you know the 100 plus videos I've put out about this business, check the first link down in the description, enter your name and your email, and I'll send you a bunch of videos about how this business works and the different concepts of it. But you know, in summary, we buy diabetic products from the 30, 300, uh, no, 30 million plus Americans in America who have diabetes, one in 10 people have diabetes, and we resell them back to big name wholesalers slash pharmacies. If you don't have a direct connect, you can use eBay, but you know I personally don't care for eBay, but that's the nutshell of this business. So like I said, I'm not gonna tell you like other people on the internet will tell you that you're gonna make millions in the first 30 days and you're gonna be buying a Lambo. I'm just gonna be real and honest, real, raw, honest, and authentic. Month one, from what I've shown people how to do this business, um, and you know I've shown some people that where they went on to make a few extra thousand a month. And then some people who I know, I've shown them and they make 10, 20, 30,000 a month, right? Um, so month one, or by the end of the day, 30, typically, and this isn't all the time, I see people make somewhere between 500 and $1,500 in profit. By the end of month two, or by day 60, somewhere between 1,500 and 2,500 profit. And then by, day 90 or the end of month three, somewhere between 2,500 to 3,500 in profit. Now, like I said, this isn't something that's gonna, you're gonna jump out the gate and make $30,000. Can you jump out the gate month one and make, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000? I remember I had um, a guy by the name of Alex out in Texas and his first month he made 5,000, but that's not common. Typically month one, somewhere between 500 or 700 or 1,000, 
maybe 1500 in profit. Month two, somewhere between that 1500 and that 2500 a month mark. And then month three, somewhere between 2500 and 3500 in profit. And then, you know, looking a little bit into the future, by month, you know, eight to 12, you should be doing somewhere around, you know, five to seven to $10,000 a month in profit. Could be more, could be less, but that's ballpark as far as how much you can expect to make. Those are just realistic numbers. Like I said, anybody telling you that, you know, month one, you're gonna be go buying, buying a Rolex, month two, you're gonna be buying a mansion, run from those people as fast as possible because success in business um, takes time. It does not happen overnight. It, I wish it did, but it doesn't. It takes time. And you know, it takes hard work, it takes persistence and consistent action. So the next question we have is how much should you start this business up? How much does it cost to get started? Now, whether you're going to invest into a training or not, if you, like I said, if you want more information about what I do and how you can get started and how you could potentially do this for yourself, check out the link in the description. But how much that you should have to get started should be anywhere between 500 and $1,000. <clears throat> I know somebody who bought my course and then, you know, he had like 20 or $30 to spare and he bought one box, took that one box, flipped it to, for 60, took that 60, bought three boxes, flipped that and kept on flipping. You can check him out on my channel. His name is Jared. When the time he bought my training, he was 16, which is absolutely incredible. I wish I started my entrepreneurial journey at the age of 16. Um, but typically somewhere between 500 and 1,000, obviously the more the merrier, but this isn't something like, you know, Chick-fil-A or, you know, a franchise or a food business where you need 20, 30, $40,000 to start. This is something that you can get started with, you know, a very shoestring budget, but at the same time, you need some sort of capital. You can't get started with five bucks. You can't get started with 10 bucks. You need somewhere, you know, you need at least, you know, minimum, I would say at least two to $300. Um, but that, that sweet spot that I tell people like, Hey, this is a good amount to dedicate to this business is around a thousand bucks. If you have a thousand bucks, you know, that's, you know, a fair amount to get something up and going, especially if you have like a two or $3,000 and you know, the money's just going to drain out your account anyway. And you're looking to put your money into work for something dedicate a thousand dollars to this and you know you'll probably be very happy with the outcome as long as you stay consistent you stay persistent you put the work in um you will be able to make that money turn around and grow so those are the two questions like i said that i get asked most which is you know how much can you make in your first you know 30 60 90 days and then in uh, how much do you need to get started so like i said if you guys have any questions or you want me to give you inform more information. You can check out my videos. I have like close close to, if not more than 100 videos on this business. Also check the first link in the description where you can learn more about this business by entering your name and your email. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.